Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Extensions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 32. Inside this video session guys, we will see that using join in query of plugin. In the last video, we had seen that listing of books to our data table. So if I back to browser, now inside this sub menu called list book, we have listed all the books what we have created and stored inside our database. If I go to database, click on this table underscore books and inside this table, we have one more column something called self underscore id. Now if we want to show this self related information then we have to make a column in this and let's say that that column should be something self name here. But remember, inside our table, we have no name of this. Instead, we have self ID. So we are going to make the joins over our self table using this self ID. If I back to editor, now go to admins, click on partials and this is all about listing our books. And let's say that if I copy and paste and this is let's say self name here and again if I copy this th go to footer and pasting after this name and we need to make one td here something let's say td and if I write call echo let's say value and this is all about self underscore id so if we save all these changes back here reload this page now here inside this again back to table and we have called self underscore id so here we have called the spelling mistake and this is something self underscore id reload this page and as we can see here that is we are getting called 5 5 2 and 2 and here we have no no value this is because inside this column we have null here so let's say that if I open this duplicate tab go back and this time I am going to inside this book self table so let's say that we are going to join these two tables called tbl underscore books and this is tbl underscore book self. After getting this value number 5, we have to join through this table and we have to get the name called self102 instead of this id called 5 here because we have to show the self name inside this table. Back here open up the main file of this admin folder and here it is and if we search about the listing of books so here we are listing all the books now inside this simply we need to make a join inside this query so let's say that here simply let's say book dot all it means we are selecting all the columns from this book and here book is the alias name of this books table so let's say as book and we are going to use the left join here so left join and in the next we need to pass the second table name so this table activator and we have if we go to this includes folder activator file copy the second table name go here and this is all about book self and I am also making an alias name of this table so let's say book underscore self here so after getting all the information from the book table we also want something book self dot we have called self underscore name and self underscore name is the column name of this table as we can see here so we are getting about the self name from this table as well as 
all the columns from this books table back here so we are getting all the columns from this book table as well as the self name from this book self table on we are going to put our condition so let's on book dot again back to table so book dot self id self id equal to let's say book self dot id on the basis of this condition it means self id from book table as well as id column from book self table when it matches then by using this left join we have to get all the data from this first table as well as from the second table so directly if I copy this self name go to this front end layout and instead of self id if I put self name here save all these changes back to front end reload this page now as we can see here that is instead of id we are getting the self name from the second table and here as for the first row we have no value so I am to show about let's say no self selected back to editor let's say that if it is not empty then we have to give the value here otherwise let's say by using this italic tag let's say no self if you save this change back here reload this page and as we can see here that is no self and here we have self name why we have used the left join here as we know that we have multiple joins in mysql query something left join inner join right join so why we have used the left join here it's because in the listing we are listing all the books as we know that inside this books table we have one column null value if we should use about list inner join then first column should be means removed from this listing let's see in action instead of this left if I write inner join save this change reload this page and as we can see here that is while getting null value inside the self name the row should be removed inside this table this is because when it get about this id it is taking the name from this book self table but instead of getting this null value it is not picking about this any row from this table so while getting no row inside this book self table it is removing that row from this listing and also we are not using right join because right join means about this book self table here we are showing about all the details from the first table that is tpl underscore books so that's why we have used left join here it means either we have value in self id or not but we want to list that book also inside the listing of all books so successfully guys we have implemented about join in our plugin query so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day